Hello, and welcome to yet another edition of Helium Hacks Happy Hour. My name is Travis. I go by TT over on the discords, and I'll be your host this evening. So I see some uh, folks are still rolling in. We'll give them a second before we really kick it off here, but um, I'm glad everyone was able to make it. We should have a pretty interesting show uh, this evening. There's a couple things I want to go over real quick. Um, if, if you're not speaking at the time, uh, don't keep a, a mic live. It makes it just, uh, you know, talking over people and a pain to edit. Uh, same with video. If you, we'd love to see your pretty faces. And um, if you're new on the call, please introduce yourself. Um, but uh, if you're just running like an OBS logo, it, it doesn't help either. Or if it's just an empty chair uh, and, and you leave for some reason, just kill your video and it makes it makes it kind of easier on on the rest of the callers. Um, but that being said, this is a very casual show. Um, you know, we try to keep it clean, try to keep it where um, this is uh, family friendly. So um, if you have any topics, let's keep it around helium, around the helium, the people's network. Uh, preferably um, not about rabbits or, or shooting mice or, or rats or, or whatnot. And I noticed that we had um, the team from UbiDots here. I believe I saw um, a moment ago. Hello, guys. Hey, there they hey, are. Yeah. Hey, hey, Christine. Hey, Christina. <laughs> Hi, it's Jeremy. good to have you on the show. Good to see you. Good to see some familiar faces as well. So looking forward to today's episode. Yeah, we are too. Uh, you had a huge announcement, I guess, uh, here recently. So uh, I know I, I'm excited to hear more about it. And um, I know a number of people have hit me up um, this week about it as well. And so um, uh, just uh, can't wait to get uh, a little more details. I'd like to I mean, go ahead and hand this over to Augustine and, and Christina and see if um, you can give us a little more insight into what's going on over UbiDots. Great. Yeah. I mean, we're very excited to be here and we've been working on something that we've been announcing like on social media and in Discord and stuff. And it's great to be like here and watching our faces. Um, so we're basically ready to launch and we're also looking for beta testers for our new like global one connectivity with Helium. So um, this is, I mean, in, in case you're not familiar with that, we, we basically allow IoT entrepreneurs or just companies or OEMs to rapidly solve problems by using IoT. So we provide a whole set of tools uh, so that you can easily connect your sensors, visualize them and white label the whole thing and go faster to market. But the new thing about the connectivity is that you can do everything in UbiDots. So we, we're looking for beta testers and I would like to pass it on to Agustin so he can tell you the details. Why is he more excited than I am even? Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks Christian. And Hi again to everyone. Uh, indeed, so I won't go very back in time in history, but to long story short, um, it's we, when we got into IoT, we were doing a lot of hardware ourselves as well, and install, installing projects. Back then, speaking even you know ten years back, uh, with with very different protocols, no Laura one back then. Um, and it always, I always wonder if, how cool it would be if we could ship a device to a client uh, without having to deal with a SIM card and just like have the client install it immediately with, with immediate connectivity. Um, you know, the way you would solve that today would be either through Wi Fi or having a global SIM card. And with Loro One, it's, and thanks to the People's Network, this is finally becoming like a reality. So uh, last year we were, we were here, we announced uh, an integration that solves the, the, the steps or, or reduces the steps to get data from the device to the console to the UbiDots cloud. So we created a pre-built integration, which some of you are already familiar with. So the new part now is we're also cutting the steps uh, of having to manage a, a console. So uh, there, uh, we are all here because we love the people's network, but sometimes there are users that are, you know, busy with their, with their respective businesses and applications, and they might not be interested to create a console account. They might just want to, they might not even have a crypto wallet. Uh, so all they want to do is to buy one of these devices, um, enter a dev UI, app key and app UI, 
and just have immediate connectivity anywhere in the world. Or I mean, in the major cities where the people's network is offering connectivity. And to prove that, uh, we're actually today in Bogota. In, in, we have some of our development team here. So I took this from home uh, in the plane. I forgot to turn it off. So I hope you know that was not a problem when they said that, that they should turn off your cell phone. Um, so yeah, I basically I landed in Bogota and I went back to, to UbiDots and I was still receiving signal. <laughs> Maybe they noticed, I don't know. With, with some radar, some some scanner, but uh, it it proves the point that it is it is possible. And and if I were to ship this device to a client, uh, maybe I if I were an integrator that was offering temperature and humidity monitoring solutions to uh, factories, for example, uh, I could potentially just ship this with some instructions to install them, where from mechanical instructions to configuration instructions, and they should be able to just boom, see the data in their dashboards. So yeah, very excited about that. Again, we're looking for beta testers, a lot of challenges under the hood that happens in that handshaking between the console and, and UbiDots. We run our own private console servers to, to be able to achieve that. And it also comes with the security benefit of having everything in the, in the same cloud, the private uh, domain in the cloud, the private cloud. So uh, the UbiDot server and the Helium private server are uh, in the same range. Uh, so faster communication, more secure. Uh, so yeah, if this sounds like something that would be useful to you and solve uh, a new use, use case, then happy to hear more about that. And just, yeah, let us know what we're working on. And if you have any questions today, of course, Let's drop happy the to make a chat. Just yeah, I'll, I'll drop the link of the wait list so that you can also drop your emails. Uh, your can you show the, the hardware again? Like, what's the deal with the hardware? It has a temperature sensor? Or? Yes, this is... Uh, uh, temperature and humidity. Yeah, I, I literally went ah, to cool. uh, like a local hardware store to get, like, give me the, 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 the fastest and cheapest lower one sensor you have. And they had these Raginos. Uh, so I bought one of these, and uh, again, I just uh, opened it, turned it on, the credentials in the UbiDots interface, and I was getting signal. I still had to do some decoding on the UbiDots side. We offer a decoding interface for that, because every hardware is different, and we want to make that, give the developer the power to decide how to decode. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a Dragino. LSN 50. Yep, those LSN 50s are great. So, oh, okay, that's that's something you guys can just buy in the hardware store. Interesting how to get here <laughs> in Austria. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if not, you can order it. I'm sure you can order it online. For sure. Yeah, it's, it was not the typical hardware store. It is where. <laughs> Uh, when I was an electrical engineering student, it's where I was getting all the resistors. So it's <laughs> okay, <a> guys. <laughs> Those kind of hardware store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think Dragino has uh, distributors worldwide. I know they have a number of countries uh, listed on their website. So um, that I've ordered through a number of them. And uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I can, can just start it. Interesting. If not, you could probably sweet talk someone uh, to to mail it from uh, from the states. I know Parley Lab carries um, a lot of the Dragino stuff over here. Cool. So I'll, I'll give it to to the next guest and remain open for any questions. Right, I've got a question actually. What what is the time frame on the beta, or what? Um, uh, how does that work? I mean, I, if you sign up on the list, uh, that's something that, uh, you know, you, you said there was a wait list. And so yeah, we're, we're sending uh, the first version out this week. So uh, you should be able to, to play with it and, you know, install. It works as a plugin inside UbiDot. So, um, yeah, it does all the handshaking. Um, it's still a beta. So yeah, we're, we're launching it first version this week to those who have signed up for the waitlist, awesome. and then we 
we have like a month time mm -hmm. during which we want to incorporate like all the feedback that we get. Yeah, I guess also something important is for users to have an active Ubidots account, either a 30 day trial mm -hmm. or an active customer or a STEM account so that it's easier to just activate the plugin on the, like in, inside the accounts. So that's one of the requirements. Okay, so you can have a STEM account um, uh, to be part of the beta? Right now, yeah. yeah. We're supporting it for all of okay. our users. For the cool. beta. For, for the beta part, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. No, that's great. Very cool. Yeah, one of the of the knots that we want, or the knobs that we want to adjust is uh, the pricing model. You know, we're we're targeting like a fixed price per device per month, yet you know to be defined. Uh, and depending on that, you know, we can decide whether or, or not to put it in the free plan, or if we definitely have to charge for it, which I think we we, we have to because it costs data credits. Um, that will mean that it might be available in the paid ones only. So yeah, that's yet to be defined. But it's part of the feedback that we want. If, if yeah. people are using it and if we're using it commercially, like it would be great to know mm -hmm. what's their price point and be very like transparent and flexible. So you can project what you know what your prices are going to be in you know exactly. a year and two years. Yeah. Okay. I I guess also important to note is that uh, our customers can resell it. So that normally our customers are doing end-to-end -end IoT solutions so that they know exactly their fixed costs and they deliver enough value to mark, mark it up at will. So that's part of the same UbiDots concept as a just business enabler within the chain of customers and end users. Sure. Great, yeah. Yeah. We're very excited. To, to, to finish, uh, I will say something about the hats that we're being <laughs> asked about. So. Yeah, that, I will take that, Joey, um, as a note to maybe, you know, in the next Helium Hacks, we can uh, make a, a prize and then give away some, oh, yeah. some Ruby Dots hats. And like some, Maria. Some Colombian coffee, why not? You know, we can yeah. make some coffee to the US. <laughs> I think um, I second that, that's okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let, let's know that for the next occasion. Uh, and then also again, Speaking of hats, I know Maria from Rack is wearing one of these. Um, <laughs> and I got this because it was, you know, the beta testing. And I got this, the fastest thing I could get. But we do have Rack, uh, rack sensors all over our office and hope to incorporate them and decode them as well for uh, a more uh, complete demo. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And I know that uh, George is on the call and, uh, you know, he is a CEO over at Open. And uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the rack stuff definitely, were, there we go. Hey, George. Uh, yeah, there we go. The, the rack <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All over the place. Good plug, but, there, Travis. Thanks. Um, yeah, Maria. Uh, yeah, we have some work to do between our, our, our sensor uh, model that we've set up with the environmental sensor over to UberDots. And next in line is a CO2 mm -hmm. sensor. And there was a conversation earlier about farm sensors and monitoring um, different aspects of agriculture. And CO2 emissions from agriculture is really important. And the kit has, by golly, a CO2 sensor in it. Um, so that's something next in line that we can test and run across, hopefully in your beta, um, Augustine and Christina. So we're excited about that. And Maria, we'll all triangulate uh, with uh, the Helium team on how to put that all together. Great. But it looks, the data looks good on UbiDots. I, I will say it does. that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are exciting develop, develop, de developments for sure. Also because it's trying out something new and our whole team was excited to build it. Our CTO was like posting social media pictures, like working on the next coolest thing ever. <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah. It's exciting to see the company be like involved in new things, not just like features and that's it. So I love that part of, of this project in general. Absolutely. And it's cool seeing it go or roll out to all these different countries. And uh, I mean, it's, it's just great being on this call. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how many countries we're representing, um, you know, just uh, just on this conversation alone. But uh, there's quite a few and uh, it's been cool, you know, kind of getting to know everyone. Um, over the past few years, so or uh, several years with some of you. So, um, 
Well, Augustine, uh, Christina, thank you very much uh, for going over this. And uh, the link thank is you. in the chat. Um, we'll copy that over to um, the Discord channel as well. And so anyone who wants to be a part of that beta can definitely, if there's a waiting list, get your name in there. Um, I, because uh, UbiDots is, uh, it, it's one of those integrations. It's one of those that makes it very, very simple to get, uh, you know, your data over collected and, uh, you know, in, into some form or fashion where you can, you can make use of it. And that's not just a dashboard. I mean, you can pull that data down from the dashboard and you can bend it and fold it and um, do with it what you, what you want. Um, it, it's a very powerful system there. Um, what's, what's a better word than, than dashboarding? Because some people just, they almost show me a sour face when I call, call something yeah. like dashboard. Visualizations. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I we guess. like to call the system as application enablement because we're focused on the business side. So it's like the application part of the platform work. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's like dashboards and this visualization. And then the broader term would be uh, low code application enablement because it's yeah. not just about the dashboard, it's about giving uh, an IoT entrepreneur all the tools to launch its, his or her own IoT platform with a custom brand, custom colors, custom domain, everything that represents 80% of the use cases. Uh, the, the remaining 20% can be low-coded or hard-coded into you know, extra layers of customization, but um, that's like the, the, in a nutshell, what we do. And you cover mobile as well. So um, if anyone wants a more thorough rundown of UbiDots and you haven't played with them before, check out um, the playlist over on over on YouTube. And um, I, you know, I think there's I, I think there's a couple of videos there on UbiDots. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're also on Discord. So if you want to send us a direct message, I'm Christina UbiDots. <laughs> Thank you for having us. We really yeah, always. It. You're always welcome on here. It's it, it's it, great to hear from you, and I, I know you have a ton going on, and you know, launching uh, your own console, um, yeah, that's a big deal. And um, I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna start seeing, you know, other companies who are who are running the console. And if anyone wants to play with console, uh, just jump over to the GitHub, and um, there are um, instructions. There's there's videos on getting started with it. If you um, if you want to jump into the deep end and, and run, run one of those yourself. So um, I know a number of people have gotten the OUIs and um, you know, are setting consoles up. Uh, a lot of you don't want to do that though. So uh, <laughs> uh, we're, we are very fortunate to see, uh, see companies like UbiDots that are stepping up to the plate and uh, you know, getting these solutions together. I, I think it's very exciting, uh, exciting for the ecosystem.